And hello there, and this is going to be a nice starting guide and basic tips for Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon. This is for version 0.5 right now. So it is very limited on the scope of the gameplay on this, which you can actually do. And some of these things might be up for changes uh, sooner or later type of a deal. So just be aware of that, uh, so, so, you know, because it might not be exactly as it is right now uh, when you're looking at this and playing the game. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, uh, the basic, you know, premise of this game is you have this island right here you start off over here by the way and then you can just run straight up here to the castle that type of a thing and then you do all these quests and you cover this whole island uh, doing your side quest and the main quest the main quest is pretty short right now and it basically ends you know the game you, you can continue playing on after and uh, finish all the side quests and stuff like that but yeah uh, this is it limited island so far there's some work under construction type of a thing for updates and all that kind of fun stuff and the fast travel in this game is really nice because it is actually fast I'll show you that in the in a bit right here but yeah uh, these type of games here they have the basic you know your basic combat styles your hack and slash your arrows and your magic and um yeah, so what do you want to play in this game? Well, let's go over the details on the pros and cons of each of those right now before you decide on your different playstyles that you want to do. So uh, most of these games, you know, hack and slash is nice, but it is, you know, kind of uneventful, especially for a role-playing game. Uh, it can be uneventful and it can be rewarding, but um, as you can see, I can't even hit a tree here. Like, awesome. Uh, but anyways, uh, right, as you can see, this game is really big on stamina. My stamina is draining pretty fast, and I have higher stamina, and I do have some skill points into, like, one-handed weapons that are going on here for my slash. You can charge your attacks with drain stamina. But this is just a, you know, a fast, easy one-handed weapon which has a, low, like one, a really low stamina drain. And it's draining a lot. And if you have all your stamina gone, you can't block. And of course, you can't run when you have no stamina. And then it'll take it just a little bit longer to actually start regenerating a uh, type of a thing when you're playing in that style. Now let's go over to archery. So, you know, hack and slash is a viable thing to do if you want to do that. Um, it does have some you know nice proficiencies we can go over with in a little bit that will help it out. Uh, archery you know here we go we're pulling the arrow back uh, ready to aim and that's like almost all my stamina so I think it's percentage based on your maximum stamina because you know uh, you don't have that much stamina at the start of the game obviously but yeah uh, you need to fire an arrow uh, but yeah you fire your arrows and they're basically gone uh, there's no arrows in my tree here I can fire it on the ground uh, I, I can't find my arrow. Uh, you only can really find the arrows on the dead bodies and they're all broken. And there is one skill that will make it so you can find 25% of them, but you have to find them off the bodies themselves. And of course they can be buried and you can't move the bodies around. So uh, actually trying to find the arrows and recover them is a pain in the ass and it's only 25%. You know, that's ridiculous. Uh, but uh, yeah, and the arrows are really expensive in this game. It's 10 gold for one arrow. Uh, and then you really need your gold in this game because uh, you may not see the might not seem that way at the start but uh, you're going to want to start you know getting that blacksmith over there and sharpening your gear uh, that type of a thing because you know uh, like right now my sword right here is plus five and it costs more and more it's like 500 just to get a plus one and then it's a thousand and then it keeps going up higher and higher uh, so yeah even though even though I have a lot of money I only have a plus one on my armor type of a thing uh, for my playout uh, so yeah it's good you're going to want to save that money and you know loot everything and uh, you know try and make as much money as possible you don't want to be draining all your money on arrows and stuff like that that you can't get back it's just to shoot guys from a range so that leaves magic uh, magic in this game um, it takes a lot of magic to use stuff uh, and the spells are really deceptive it might you might get an upgraded spell that says hey this one here does you know a couple damage more but it takes like like double the stamina I mean double your magic powers to use uh, so yeah uh, the best option to do is uh, keep your spells at the lowest uh, possible so get keep the weakest spells and use those uh, because you can spam the hell of them and that has a added effect of raising your magic power a little bit more I believe I don't know if it's based on damage or not uh, but yeah you can cast it more often it's just a lot better trust me on that I cast you know uh, a spell that does like you know about uh, four damage more and I could only cast it like you know two times versus you know casting the other one five times uh, so yeah that makes a difference uh, on there and that's why I recommend going with the spell casting in this game because uh, you can just keep casting the spells I see everything took a nice stamina drain and I did not get my timing rate on my mouse but I can cast them a little bit faster. And you can see my magic power is barely going down. Type of a thing. And there I got a big boost of magic. That's a 10% proc chance to get that. Uh, for one of your skills you can pick. But yeah, as you can see, I'm blasting off magic. Uh, at no end. And it's a lot faster than pulling an arrow. You can do this from ranged. It's a lot easier to go on. So let's go over there and take a look at the character screen right now. 
So yeah, you have your four loadouts. Uh, magic spells in this game is just items. So yeah, you're gonna start off with a fireball spell basically, and it's a good spell to use until you get this one here, uh, this arcane lance. But yeah, you can pick out your loadouts as, as you see fit, and you know, you know mix and match your spells. And then you have your armor. Now there's different styles of armor. Heavy armor will drain your stamina uh, a lot more for melee attacks and uh, and your uh, magic spells. Uh, but there are skills to get around that, so that's why I'm wearing it, and I recommend it because the other medium and light armors there is not very much. There's not much options going on. Nothing with really much special effects. There isn't like assassin's armor, which has minor special effects on it, which don't really help you too much because you know you don't really need them. Uh, you know, it's just you know basically a flare type of a thing. It's something you really don't really need. So you you you, you really do want this extra armor value on some of these things, like 110 on my breastplate right now. You kind of want that for your armor, so these guys can hit you and they won't do very much damage. But then you don't have to worry about putting a whole bunch of stuff into your skill skill points and stuff like that. So let's go over top of the uh, of the skill points and stuff like that. So let's go check the proficiencies, which are over here for some reason. Uh, but yeah, these things, they all go up by being used, um, like, you know, these standard games do. Uh, so some of these things, yeah, this is jumping, that's why it's so high. You just got to jump and, you know, raise it up. Sneaking, you can sneak everywhere you go and uh, that will raise it up. And it's just, it's really easy. You, got, you don't even have guys around. They can be super far away, uh, like, you know, off the screen type of thing and your sneak will go up. Uh, so yeah, it's really easy to do. And that's why I'm a magic as a pirate because it's good. And then all these other skills like cooking and crafting. You don't really need to focus on any of these things. Uh, they will go up uh, naturally. Uh, you can you, you can you know cheap out the armor skills because there is a, uh, a thing in the town here. Let's go to the town right away because uh, we can show you the fast travel. I'm, I'm like right there so I guess I could uh, let's show you the fast travel because that actually might be almost faster. You can just click on here and then fast travel and then boom you're there. So that's nice and handy but yeah we can go over here and check out the statue. Uh, I can't click on it right now myself because I already did the last quest and uh, if I touch it I get ported to the last quest which just basically talks to the guy and that's it. You know, game, you know wait until the uh, uh, update type of a deal. Uh, but yeah this here is the Excalibur sword and if you touch this thing and hold the button down uh, it will drain your health basically. So it'll drain your health and then as your health drains you can cast healing spells to heal your hit points up but that counts as damage to your armor and your armor will go up. So your armor skills will go up. Uh, that's why my armor is actually higher than what it, you know, it normally should be because my armor skills at 50 and uh, you normally you want to get your armor skill that high because you have to stand there and get, take a lot of hits basically and that's boring but you can do that super fast level ups on this so that would be my character stats we might have seen that at level 50 for my armor and that increases your armor value so that's why it's uh, nice and high uh, right there for that kind of thing but yeah let's carry on with the actual character build and all the other stats so you have your basic stats right here uh, in this game then you actually have to get your skills you actually have to click on these things to see the skills and it's you know a limited level 8 and level 11 to see the rest of these skills right here and I can I'm not showing you the skills because uh, you know I, I, I don't have enough attribute points uh, but yeah um, uh, I don't have any of these skills because they aren't really effective um, or useful like I leveled it up and I uh, used them I took a look at them all and then I reloaded my game when I saved up a whole bunch of the uh, skill points uh, attribute points because I wanted to see I wanted to see what they are and um, I'm telling you right now there's nothing really that great unless you're going into you know, like a melee damage attack uh, guy uh, none of these uh, none of these skills are gonna really gonna help you out in the long run so some of them might have a little bit of effect you know after killing an enemy gain 50% of your max stamina that's pretty nice but uh, since I'm using uh, magic uh, I don't use stamina which is a good be added benefit it means I means as if I run out of magic or something happens I can run away and I have full stamina to do that uh, now dexterity has a couple things in the first level which means it might be de deceptive on what these other skills might be for later on but they're basically all for uh, hunting with arrows so this is basically all arrows and the first couple right here is like you know uh, you can dodge and reduce some damage uh yeah, but th that doesn't matter too much. And you know, shooting an enemy in the head, you know, that's an archery skill. So yeah, uh, another one. Uh, no, this one here is the uh, my, the one that might help for you know other things. You know, precision, uh, you know, piercing precision. So yeah, you actually this is an arrow one too. So you know, ten percent of their armor you ignore. Uh, basically, very weak and uh, not useful if you're going to you know that's just gonna be too much of a money drain to actually go into dexterity. So you don't need that. You know, this one here is you know practicality. I don't know why they call it that, uh, but yeah, I, I try going in here and try I try out the arrow retrieval. It's uh, I wish I could take my skill back. Um, can I reset the table? Does that work? 
Oh, awesome. I can get my skills back. Oh, that's awesome. You can uh, go in there and do that. I didn't even look. That's why I don't pay attention. But yeah, you can reset your skill points. Now, yeah, I don't need this. And I took Druid's Integrity because uh, one, at the start of the game, you only pick up one herb at a time. And that's all you get is one herb at a time and food item type basically off the plants. And getting an extra one is double the stuff. But the potions and stuff like that and the food items, hey, they don't matter too much. Uh, they weren't really that effective. So yeah, they weren't really that great. Now we can go back into the attributes thing and see my characters. You see my perception up there, which is crazy high. It might not be crazy high, but it's, you know, over the top high. And that's because there was a bug in this game. I got a video on that, but you really don't really need to watch it. There's going to be some books in this game uh, that's going to have, you know, we'll go over here to get to the bag. Um, no, inventory, then the bag. Dog, I hate the system. It's really dumb how they did this. It should go to inventory. Show me my inventory and my equipment should be over somewhere else. Uh, they don't know. I don't know what they're doing. But you go over here to your readable stuff and like one of these books, well, might have, uh, this is a culinary one, but yeah, one of these books uh, you can find in this game, well, there's more than one. I found actually three, maybe four of them. I, I lost count. Uh, but you just pick them up and then you learn the skill. Uh, you'll learn a plus one to your, your perception there or, or whatever it is. And then you just uh, pick up the book and then uh, you get another plus one. Then you drop the book and pick it up again. It's really that simple. So as soon as you get any book in this game that raises an attribute or raises something, you can just pick it up and drop it again and then use it again. Uh, so yeah, it's anything readable like that. So right now that's a current bug. Um, but you know, it might be fixed by now if you're watching this. But right now it's not fixed. It's 0.5 uh, so you can do this stuff like that it's kind of kind of nice uh, and funny thing to do uh, but let's go over there to uh, and yeah none of these skills in here um, the other skills are really helpful it's mostly mostly for crafting and stuff like that which was basically useless I found throughout this game now this one here it does have some nice stuff like this light footed one for you can get to your, your full movement speed while crouching and and the rest of these uh, don't really matter too much you know uh, you can you know, get extra items from looting. It's not really that high, you know. Sneak attacks. Well, I'm not really sneaking and attacking, attacking guys, and you know, uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, when you go around there and you sneak, you look, you can move a lot faster. This is like the walking speed, and this is the sneak speed. So this is like faster than your walking speed. So when you're like going around through the dungeons, you might as well sneak, and you might as well jump around and get your agility up. Or you know, if you have lots of stamina, just to dodge around and you know glitch your way up there to get your uh, evasion up there if you're actually going to use that i never did there was no reason to uh but uh yeah that's what you can do in uh this type of a game right there but let's go back over here and uh, check out the skills also uh, for the perception right there so none of these else were really good except for that one there it was kind of handy to get later on so as soon as you get that book you can level this up don't put any points in this because the skill points are just like one every other level now it's endurance and uh you know spirit that that's th those are the things you want to stick your points in and uh what i recommend for your starting uh, character build uh, basically is to go in here and put your spirit up to 11 because we want to go into magic casting because obviously it's a lot better and like you getting up you know a you only start with 50 magic and getting a plus 10 and uh, extra magic regeneration is good, very helpful and that's what you want you want the magic regeneration so you're actually not you know running on the mana and the higher maximum which is nice so bring that up to 11 so you can actually get the skills which I'll tell you in about a minute and then bring your endurance up to 11 so you actually have some stamina uh, going on there and the skills that are involved in this tree here too uh, which are really handy for your build especially if you're going to be wearing heavy armor uh, there are some helpful things in there to help with that uh, and there then after that uh, go on to spirit uh, you know your spirit uh, you don't really need to worry about anything else in this game for the st for the stats wise that's just, this will make you a super powerful build uh, just as it is and nice and simple so let's go over top of the skills like um, and under endurance I would actually you know, use my first skill point to put your carrying limit up by 25 uh, there isn't uh, too many things that will actually uh, you know increase your carry limit we have adding more endurance points and there is a uh, I'll tell you about that in, this, in later uh, or right now there is another item in this game that will raise it by 15 permanently and that is a quest off of a guy up in these uh, towers up here yeah he's up here you go up here and there's a guy up there and you just just uh, demanded a reward a reward off him after you build the seagull mask for him and then he'll give you a feather which is a plus 15 to your permanent uh, to uh, permanently to your thing once you use that he'll give you a you know plus thir uh, 15 to your carry weight uh, which is helpful type of a thing uh, but after that you don't really you know, worry about these other skills too much uh, you can take them as you see fit later on but you know I, I took the 25 the extra extra points to the stamina since your stamina is still pretty low uh, and that you know it's a big boost uh, basically it's, it's helpful especially when you only get five points a level this gives you like you know five levels worth uh, and then I would take this one here as uh, soon as possible too you know heavy armor does not increase your stamina cost uh, so that's you know awesome yeah you know yeah, that, that, that negates having the penalty 
similarities of that. Uh, but of course, we go over the spirit, uh, you know, the spirit uh, skills right here. And the first one you might want to take right here is actually this one right here, is the mana regeneration, because that's always very handy. And having that going off is going to be nice. And then I would take, you know, this one here, reduce the, you know, the medium heavy armor cost of penalty of using it, so that you're not, you, you know, you're not wasting all extra, st you know, extra, uh, um, you know, you know, it, it costs more magic points. Is what it means. It costs more magic to use these uh, st uh, the spells if you have heavy armor on, and this will you know negate that by quite a bit uh, by taking this skill right here. And then the other skills you take on as you see fit later on, like you know a 10% chance to get mana back after killing an enemy type of thing, restore 10% of your mana. You know, after, you know, you just kill an enemy, and get 10% of your mana back. So that's good when you have higher mana, uh, casting a spell, 10% of refunding your mana by you know 50, so you get a whole plus 50 uh, just by casting a spell randomly. Uh, this other one here is just an optional one you can take you know you know your magic attacks will reduce your armor and some of these spells really count might count as an actual projectile uh, especially the one i use uh, and then you know spells do 10 percent more damage so you can pick and choose the other ones these, these two here are basically for uh, you know combat mages and uh, this one will increase my magic resistance so i could maybe take that one or i could just you know pick something somewhere else you know that i might see fit you know when i feel like it uh, but uh that's you know that's you know it, it for now uh, out of the skills and that's why i recommend them so let's go over top of the uh the actual, you know, the the spells in this game, because the higher uh, the damage of the spell, the more stamina it's going to drain by a lot. It's a big difference. This is has only eight to twelve, and this is the I find this spell to be the best spell in the game. You know, you think eight to twelve is weird, but it's piercing. It does two piercing. There's a couple other ones that do piercing, but the next level up, which was only like you know eleven or you know ten to eleven damage type of a deal, wasn't very much of a difference. It costs like it over cost you know twice as much. Same with using this little you know ice shard spell. And the you know the hailstone spell. If you're going to go with the ice ones, these ones all cost more than just the basic fireball spell you get at the start of the game, uh, for for stamina wise. They really do drain a lot of stamina on um, these big ones. Uh, let's try and find a spell light orb. Uh, no, none of these. I don't. I took. I I dumped them all. It doesn't matter, uh, but they take a lot of 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 um, magic. You know, they take a lot of uh, your spell point drainage, and uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, let's go over there and do uh, show you a fight. Or was it this guy over here? Right? Yes, yeah, fast travel over there. Boom, over there. Are these guys respond yet? No, they haven't responded yet. There's just a whole bunch of guys here that you can fight and kill uh, nice and easily. And of course, it's dark out and you can't see. There's a guy down there. Uh, so we can go there and. Uh, cast a spell on him you can see see that does just a like a little bit of damage but you can see the buff on him maybe it did a little bit more now he's taking almost the same but yeah i can cast faster if i wanted to there yeah he's dead so yeah you see how easy it is that's why i recommend using this spell here my magic is like you know already still full again and i have like 20 points into it and stuff like that so yeah you can just keep casting stuff like this from far away there's gonna be bigger like bears and stuff like that, which are going to take a lot of hits to kill. Uh, but yeah, being able to spam cast your stuff is just way more effective, I found. And then casting a bigger spell than having no mana. And uh, you don't, you won't do as much damage. So there's some wolves over there, I think. Yeah, there's some wolves. They're far away. Ah, oh, that was a bad shot. No, I didn't hit him. There we go. Let's synthesis is piercing. Let's line it up. Oh, I missed him. It's hard to get that hit in there, but anyways, uh, nice and easy to kill them type of a thing. Uh, but yeah, that's what I recommend for those spells. So this spell here is somewhere in the middle of the map somewhere, or just you know just just play the game and find it and use the fireball spell until then. I found that was the best spell to use. Uh, but yeah, the healing spells is another major thing that you might want to find, and that healing spell is right over here near the start of the game. Where is it? There's the start of the game. Uh, so let's go over there and uh, show you that because you might want to know how to get the uh, healing spells in this game. <laughs> you know uh, the first healing spell because you can get that right near the start of the game so that's the start of the game right down there and you can just hug the shoreline over here there is a fight over there it's a one-time guy a corpse fight and there's a couple wolves type of a thing uh, but there it's not too hard you might should be able to handle it but right down here it's just you know follow this pathway right down here and there's a shrine right here there, there are some guys here you don't, you don't have to fight too uh, but you know there's a shrine right here and you just talk to the shrine right here and give it an offering and then if you don't have the ingredients which you probably might not have uh, it's just you know pick up everything in this game 
pick up all the different pieces of uh, loot. You know, I think it might be just like some rotten flesh and a couple herbs you might be able to find. But um, if you can try and find to be more specific, but just you know, pick up everything until you actually get it. Or maybe you can just read more than I do, and uh, and they'll t they'll tell you what to what to get and offer it, and then they'll give you the healing spell. And uh, that's the healing spell right here. And that of course the healing spell lies. Uh, you know why it lies? Because the healing spell in this game says it only heals 20, but it actually heals uh, 20 every second for like five seconds or so. Was it still going for seven seconds left on it? So every second is going to be healing 20. It's just overpowered and broken. And then so that's the only healing spell you're going to need for like the whole game. So as soon as you get that, if you get that right off the bat, you're like golden for like the whole game type of things. Especially if you go with the magic build, so you're not going to have to worry about uh, wasting, you know you know, magic po points on it, or potions and stuff like that to heal your magic type of a thing. Uh, but yeah, that is the, the it for the uh, my strategy guide, basically, a starting guide, uh, and uh, some tips on uh, getting pl uh, getting started in this game. That's my that's what I totally recommend you yeah, going in there, is just going with the magic, because, you know, magic is always better than uh, hack and slash, because that can get boring. Well, this can get boring too, just by spamming this and you win, that type of a thing, and uh, you know, that's about it uh, for, for that kind of type of strategy. Uh, but yeah, just uh, go here and play the game. And uh, okay, one last note, I would say, if you're going to go with a melee weapon, I'll show you where that is. Uh, this one right here is the best weapon I've found so far in the game. It's 25% lifesteal, and it's a pretty strong one-handed weapon. And as you see, I leveled up the plus five, and I gave it a plus, I gave it a, a stun on there too, uh, with a relic type of a thing, is what I did to modify it. But this weapon right here is not too hard to get. Uh, if you're willing to try and run and be sketchy at the start of the game, because you can just come around here and go through here right so you can come through here and then go uh, across the water you can swim and you know go, go through the water and then just a uh, uh, run through here there's a big ogre and a whole bunch of other guys are there but if you can run and uh, dodge them fast enough you can run to the end over here and pick up the sword off the body type of a thing grab all that stuff and then run back or you can go you know or then you can run this way and then go to the town type of th deal if you want to but I don't know how that's gonna work out since you have to actually talk to the gate guard and talk to that guy to actually get them to talk but yeah uh, all that kind of stuff but yeah it's just over here so that's where it is as is so you know where to pick up that sword then you'll have the best like you know one-handed sword in the game type of a deal uh to play through and enjoy yourself pick up all those why not so you just get one i just get one now doesn't matter uh, but uh yeah thanks for watching and hopefully this helps you out and gets all the uh, basic questions out of the way on you know your your gameplay style and uh, what's the most effective uh, way to do stuff in this game so uh, thanks for watching uh, and i'll see you later and we can see how much damage these wolves do to me uh, with my higher armor and i'll let them attack me come over here come over here let's get a healing spell out let them hit me so yeah they're with all that with that heavy armor and my armor skill help leveled up they're not doing very much and you cast this healing spell and just watch my hit points stay at maximum yeah they're, are they taking thorns damage they are i got thorns damage somewhere i forgot about that so yeah, I got a Thor saber somewhere. Yeah, they just sat there and killed himself. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, so you can do stuff like that. Um, I guess I can't really raise my armor that way. Got to do it off the sword over there. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.